Afternoon tea is a real British tradition. It began in the 1840s when Anna, Duchess of Bedford, decided that the time between lunch and supper was just too far apart. So to fill the gap, she asked her servants to bring her some light refreshments, a pot of tea, some finger sandwiches, and some cakes and pastries. In 1841, she invited Queen Victoria to join her for tea, and the occasion was cemented as a great social connector. Today afternoon tea is more of a rare treat, something you might enjoy at a fancy hotel. Well, I want to show you how to create the perfect afternoon tea at home. So join me in this video and I'll take you through every step to create an occasion that is memorable and enjoyable for your guests. I'm Nicholas Fairford. I'm a designer and writer with a focus on classic and elegant living. I've always believed that life should be beautiful. My aim is to bring beauty into the everyday with the simplest and smallest pleasures so that we can all have more moments of joy in our lives. Afternoon tea consists of three different elements. So we've got sandwiches, scones and cakes and pastries. For my sandwiches I've just made cucumber because I find them light and delicate, not too filling. My scones, I bake them fresh because I think they're always better from the oven, nice and warm. And my cakes and pastries, I bought them from the shop because I'm not a pastry chef and it's much easier, it will save you a lot of stress. Buying them from the shop, to me, is perfectly acceptable. Now afternoon tea is all about presentation, so if you can get a cake sound like this one, I would highly recommend that you do so because it will just make the whole experience that much more pleasurable. With tea, you can serve a choice of tea. It's always nice to serve an Earl Grey, because that's a fragrant tea, and then an English breakfast, which is a crowd pleaser. Everyone likes English breakfast with a nice drop of milk. A beautiful table setting will bring your afternoon tea to life. I've used these small wicker glasses and filled them with tulips. I also have these bud vases and I'm going to fill them with roses. I want flowers on my table, but as the cake stand is going to take centre stage, I want the flowers to be a supporting act, because otherwise they will interrupt the view of the table and you won't be able to have good conversation. You don't need to be a florist, this is so easy to do. Just remove the leaves and cut them to size. For me, setting the table is the most enjoyable part of entertaining at home. I love to create a setting that will make my guests smile. It's always a good idea to choose some sort of theme for your table setting. For my afternoon tea today, I want a very pretty setting with flowers, bugs and nature. Every time I've had afternoon tea at a hotel, all the best places use a white tablecloth. It's the perfect backdrop and looks elegant and clean. I'm going to start with these larger dinner plates to anchor each place setting. I tried linen placemats but they didn't work. Next I'm going to use this smaller plate which will be used for eating. Placing the cutlery will allow me to see how much room I have for my glassware and teacups. Keeping to my nature theme I'm going to use these small cabbage leaf dishes. They don't really have a function today, but they are beautiful. Next, I'm adding linen napkins. To get them really fresh and crisp, use starch when pressing them. I have these very sweet bee napkin rings that will add a touch of whimsy to the table. Champagne is a real treat with afternoon tea. I've chosen these glasses in pastel colours, which brighten the whole table and are so different to just using plain glass. The tea set I'm using is by Wedgwood and it's called Butterfly Bloom. It's a real favourite of mine. These golden pomegranate dishes with miniature spoons add a touch of luxury to the whole table and are a fun way to serve jam and cream. Now for the all important milk, sugar and lemon. Not forgetting the tea of course. It's time to bring out the star of the show. Doesn't it look wonderful? To finish, I'm going to dot my little flower arrangements around the table.
When it comes to entertaining, I don't like stiff or formal rules. The most important thing for me is to create an environment where your guests are relaxed. So my number one rule is to just have fun. If you do want some general guidance, let's start with tea. It's best to stir the tea in a 6 to 12 motion and give it a little flick rather than clanging it around the teacup like this. With scones, you don't need to worry about cutting them in half. Just break them with your hands like this. Then you can just take a little bit of cream and some jam onto the side of your plate. And then we'll use a knife just to put them on. Now there is a lot of debate about whether it's jam or cream first. Personally, I prefer cream first, but it's totally up to you. And that's it, no more rules, just enjoy this very special occasion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to create your own tea party at home. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye.